I really love how I look, but again, the Photoshop just helps us take it to the next level, okay? You see the original photo. It's a cute photo, it's cute. But you know, we can do things to take it to the next level, right? Hey y'all, it's your girl Fumi Lyo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video and make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my photos for Instagram on Photoshop. So I also edit them on my phone sometimes using like phone apps, but this is me just showing you guys how I edit certain Instagram photos on Photoshop. So here is the photo right here. And I'm basically, this is the original photo right here. And I'm showing you guys how I transform it to look like this. All right. So the first thing that I do is I run the action um, advanced frequency separation from Prince Mason. And the links will be in the description box below. So what I do is I press the play button. And then this is the action I want to run. So I would just click on it and then press play here and then it would show up right here as you can see and this is what it looks like it has the high frequency and the low frequency and the link that i'm going to show you he shows how to go about it right so he shows like how to do everything so the first thing that i do over here because the copy is where i made my edits i believe is i went ahead and i used the what tool did i use again I use the mix brush, yeah. I use the mix brush. In the link that I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna show, specifically, he literally has a tutorial of how to go about it. But this is the brush that I use, and what I did was I went ahead and like made this part lighter. Like I made over here, not lighter, but certain areas of the face. So this tool just kind of brightens up certain dark areas. Like, um, so this is it. If I off it, if I take it away, so then once I use the tool, this is what it looked like. It looked like this, you see? So it went from this to this. So you notice how like this part is lighter and then this part is lighter. So it was like this, so yeah. And I made a mistake right here. You see this part is lighter over here and it wasn't supposed to be, but I went ahead and I corrected it in the end. But this is before and then after using the mixing brush, so just, making sure to highlight like certain areas I wanna highlight. And then I went on to the high frequency copy. So over here, what I did was I used the um, clone stamp tool, I believe, and I used that to select certain areas of the skin and to just kind of like smooth it out. So you know the smooth button on Facetune? So it's like that, but not really. It's kind of like you're replicating, you're cloning certain areas of your skin to look a certain way in the certain area that you use the brush, right? And so when I did that, this is what the skin looked like. So it kind of smoothed everything. So it's literally like I use that smooth uh, brush on uh, Facetune, like on my phone, you know what I mean? But this allows you to do it more in detail, like, cause I would literally, I can literally get to, so you see the difference. So this before, after, right? So I'm literally being able to, I use um, option and then I can click a certain area of my face. So I'm clicking on the option button on my Mac, my MacBook, um, and then I'm just clicking um, on the, the certain area of the skin. And then anytime I click down on the brush, this part of the skin, like this hue, this tone or whatever, like the color is gonna replicate, um, not even the color, but like the way the skin looks here is gonna replicate on wherever I click with the brush, this tool over here, to, if that makes sense. So yeah, like you can see, so for instance here, so here. So I would just go in detail and I can make the brush as small or as large as I want. So the bigger you make the brush, it's like the more smoother it, it, it looks, but it kind of can look fake. So what I try to do is I try to make 
zoom in as much as possible or make the brush smaller so that it looks more skin tone and i can just more so like get rid of small blemishes so you see i look the same but i'm getting rid of all that texture in my skin right so i'm clicking one area of my skin and making it like more smooth so like these small little bumps don't show you know what i mean so yeah that's what i did with this and again the link below shows Prince Mason's tutorial, which gives you in detail of how to do it, you know? Um, so then after I do that, I go ahead and I do, uh, so now we have the picture looking like this. Oh, where are we at with it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so then we have the picture looking like this. Remember it was like this. So now it just looks like this. It's a little bit more smoother, you know, on the skin on the face. So now we're gonna go on to the dodge and burn. So the dodge and burn is just me basically like highlighting and contouring my, my skin. So obviously I do that with makeup, but this just adds an extra pop, you know? And here is what it looks like. So for the dodge, the dodge is the brightener. So this would be like me highlighting certain areas of my skin. So this is without it. And then this is with it. You see, it just brightens. It brightened up this side of my face, it brightened up right here. So under the eyes is where I focused it. I focused it basically on the areas where you do, how I did my makeup, literally, like where I put my highlight on for my makeup. So right here, the T-zone and the under eyes and a little bit under the nostrils and under the chin a little bit. So it went from like this to just a little bit of a boost. But since I did that boost, I wanna balance it out, right? So. I did my contour just like how I did with my makeup and I did that with the burn tool. So, but first for that dodge, for me like brightening it up a little bit, what I used is the dodge tool over here. So I click right here and you know, you, you I use two fingers to click on, on my, like my, my MacBook and then I click dodge and then that's how I'm able to, then I can do all that, you know? And again, Again, the um, tutorials by Prince Mason will be linked in the description, so it'll go more in detail, but I'm just trying to give you guys a general idea of what I do. And so I did all that. So now I wanna balance it out with the burn so it looks like this, right? And so to do that, I'm gonna, again, click on this same area, and then I'm gonna click burn. And then it will allow me to burn. So list, literally with the burn, I'm just contouring. So I'm just doing it like my normal contour. Cause you notice without it, just kind of look bright. You know, I don't kind of look my, kind of look brighter than my skin tone. So I'm kind of like trying to bring it in a little bit, you know, add some more color to me. And so I use that burn. And you notice it kind of like chisels the face a little bit too. So, because you know, when I brightened it, I kind of evened my skin tone a little bit more. Like, I don't know, not evened it out, but I, I don't know how to explain it, but it just needed something to balance it out. And that's what I did with the burn. It just kind of made it look more like in your face. It looks more studio, it looks more professional, like clearly done up, you know, it's clearly Photoshop, but it's, it's not OD, you know what I mean? But it has that photography effect, I feel like. So, so that's why I did it this dark. But let's say, for example, let's say that I didn't want the burn to be this harsh, like I wanted it to be lighter. I could just change the opacity right over here and I could make it like this, you know? So it's not as light, so it's not as dark. So like, this is what it looks like at zero. And then, you know, slowly, slowly when I add it more, that's the darker it'll get. So you see how it's darker right here? And this is what it looks like at 59%. Or let's say I, I didn't want it to be, the burn to be as dark, you want it to look more natural? Okay, 25%. This is what it looks like at 71%. You know what I mean? But I just liked how it looked like at 100%. So I just went for it. Because again, I was going for kind of like a studio look, you know, very done up, very like, you know, smooth skin type of look, but still kind of, still realistic. Because again, you know, Without this, this is the original photo, so I'm not trying to trying to go too far off. You feel me? You know, I'm still trying to be me, but you know, just you know, a more done up version. You feel me? So <laughs> I'm just trying to make it like a more professional type of photo. But yes, so this is it with the frequency separation, and then now with the dodge and burn, you see it adds like a whoo to it. You know what I mean? Like more of a studio professional Photoshoppy look. Yeah. So there you go. And then I added some color to it as well. So the type of color I added was 
all of this so this is how it looked like after i finished adding all the color but i'm gonna go through all the steps with you so the first thing i added was the vibrance so here in adjustments i just clicked on vibrance over here and then when i clicked on it i just changed the vibrance to go up to 19 and then in adjustments the same area over here i clicked channel mixer which is which one is channel mixer again channel mixer is this one over here so i clicked on this and i went ahead and did this i made it negative two over here and plus 98 over here or stuff you know so i did all that and then i did the selective color and the, again this is all in adjustments this is what it will look like in adjustments here. That's what it would look like. And I just change it to negative 12 for cyan, that tool. And then that's how I got this. That's how it now looks like this. So this is without the color. This is with the color. So it's it's subtle, but you know, I still see a difference. You know, it just adds a little bit more vibrance to it. For me, that's what I think. So this is what the picture looks like. So this is the after and this is the before. So it's not bad, honestly. It, it looks all right both both ways. It looks good, um, but it just, it, it just looks so much better with more, you know, with all the extra steps. Like it looks more done up and everything like that. So that's what this one looks like. Um, and then for this photo here, this is the original and this is what it's looking like it's cute again very cute photos i was really happy with these um i really like how they look but i ran so what i did was i ran that same advanced frequency separation um action here and i did the same thing and then when i did it over here this is what it looked like so this is when i you know just added a little bit of brightening to certain areas then it looked like this because you see i added some brightening under the eye right here so it went from this to this you see but i kind of went a little bit i think it made my cheeks look a little bit bigger than what they are but i think i probably evened it out with the burn um and then you know i made the skin look you know smoother just it had a little texture but still very pretty still very pretty you know I, I really like how i did my makeup i really i really love how i look but again the photoshop just helps us take it to the next level okay okay so <laughs> so then we have it with me smoothing out the skin you see before and after yeah that's what that looks like and then here we're gonna go to the dodge and burn so this is what it looks like with the dodge which is me highlighting it so i'm literally just highlighting the areas where i put the makeup on it looks really cute i really like really like that and i think i also highlighted my collarbones and as well um but as you can see again it's still very natural it's still very much me because my collarbones they pop regardless you know but just you know, adding a little bit something there um so that's with the dodge and then with the burn again just to add some contrast you see i just added burn to places where i would normally contour and you see how it just brings in the image you know and i added some over here too as to where my uh my lace is at and so that's what that looked like so this is without the dodge and burn and then with the dodge and burn you see very nice very nice um moving on we went to adjustments this tab over here and then i changed the brightness and contrast so i put it on 34 for brightness and so it looks like this. So it brightened up the photo because we needed that. Like, <gasps> voila, yeah, there you go. And then, <laughs> and then for the color, you know, we went over here to vibrance. I added, hold on, let me undo all of the rest. Okay, so for vibrance, this is without the vibrance. This is with the vibrance. I just put plus 19 and then channel mixer. And remember all of these different things for the color can be found in the adjustments tab over here so for channel mixer i put it on 100 0 negative 2 and plus 98 and then i added selective color and you see how selective color made it a little bit more red so i put negative 12 cyan over here 
and so then so it went from this to this with the color so it's subtle but you notice it added made it more saturated added a little bit more red i was gonna add like a i don't know i was messing around here to see but i didn't even do that so you see it's just here but it's not on the photo but i was messing around to see whether i wanted to like change the color of the background but this is what it looks like it's really pretty i think so at least i really like how i look in this photo um but yeah so this is how the photo ended up looking so it's super cute so it went from let me show you it went from this which is still pretty still nice you know i still look cute to more professional like this you know so yeah guys yeah yep yep this is what i did to achieve this look on these photos and uh if you're interested in more videos like this or if you want me to talk more in in detail versus like giving you guys a link to somebody who like really breaks it down if you want me to try to like break it down more as to how i do things specifically or if you guys want me to actually do it for you guys uh, step by step for a picture starting from scratch uh, let me know this can be done if you guys want that uh, but yeah i really i really love these photos i love the befores and i love the afters and love the afters even more because you know sometimes you'll see potential in a photo but you're like oh just missing something so that is where editing comes in but obviously the goal is to try to take the best photo you can without all that and again like you see the original photo it's a cute photo it's cute but you know we can do things to take it to the next level right so thank you so much for watching let me know what other videos you want to see i will make another video i think if you guys are interested in how i edit pictures on my phone because you know there are apps for that um and you know when i just want to do something on my phone versus like do it on here uh on photoshop or anything like that so yeah thanks so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time bye